welcome back to my channel welcome back to my channel we are growing oh my god this is like the fourth video i think yay so guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time visiting my channel welcome and don't forget to subscribe don't forget to subscribe so guys today i'm going to be talking about how to make a very good deep conditioner for your hair with just five basic ingredients from your kitchen or your pantry yes guys just five ingredients so these ingredients i chose them for specific reasons and i'm going to tell you why and we all know that we're in the summertime season or the uh, winter season where our hair tends to get very, very dry. So it's important to select the ingredients to use in your hair based on their properties, based on their um, conditioning properties for your hair. So the first ingredient I'm going to talk about today is the banana. Yes, so bananas have um, property, uh, the banana um makes your hair very manageable that's the reason why i chose banana because whenever i use banana on my hair my hair tends to be softer and um, um well fuller too but it looks more luscious and more manageable the main word the right word is manageable so bananas make your hair very manageable hence the reason why i chose it and the second in ingredient i'm going to be using today is 100% extra virgin olive oil so olive oils are so good for your hair guys the um first of all they contain antibacterial properties they prevent scalp um scalp uh, conditions and is very 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 moisturized it keeps your hair moisturized so i love olive oil and i chose it for that reason the third ingredient i'm going to use today guys is a lemon so i'm going to use half of this lemon for this and the reason why i'm using lemon is um lemons are so good for getting rid of um itchy scalp and dandruff so the citric acid in lemons cuts through the itchy dry scalp and gets rid of it and keeps your hair uh, clean keeps your scalp very very clean and um yeah so that's the reason why i'm using the lemon today and you don't use so much lemon in your deep conditioner i'm going to be using four bananas today because my hair is plenty yeah um so with four bananas i'm using just half of this lemon so like i said the lemon is very good for getting it has uh, antibacterial properties also gets rid of itchy and dry scalp which is a very common thing in this weather and it keeps your scalp clean so the third ingredient or um yeah the fourth ingredient is honey so guys, I'm using honey because of its humectant properties. So honey is a natural humectant. What do humectants do? They attract moisture from the atmosphere into your hair, which is also very important during this season, right? During the season we have right now. So I'm choosing honey because it's a very, very, very good humectant. And if it attracts moisture into your hair, your hair stays moisturized. Yep. So that's why I'm using honey today. And the last but not the least is, yes, mayonnaise. So I'm going to use four bananas, um, one, tisp one tablespoon of honey, one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, half of a lemon, and one tablespoon of mayonnaise and the reason why i'm using mayonnaise is because of its protein properties mayonnaise is made with egg yolks and egg yolks protein and the reason why you use protein is you will need to keep your hair if you're losing hair if you notice your hair is breaking then you need a protein treatment so basically i'm balancing moisture and, and protein moisture is from the honey and the olive oil and the banana well and the bananas too and then the protein is from this i'm doing like a very balanced treatment for my hair so the uh mayonnaise is going to keep my uh, uh, prevent breakage and then strengthen the hair protein also stre strengthens the hair so guys i'm going to go off camera now to um pre pull my hair i just losing my cornrows so i'm going to pre pull my hair and i'm going to come back and show you guys how i mix how i'm going to mix this deep conditioner now okay hey guys so i went off camera to pre pull my hair so my hair is all ready for wash now i also went ahead to um add the ingredients for the deep conditioner into this bowl so i have here four bananas 
I have a tablespoon of mayonnaise, I have a tablespoon of honey, a tablespoon of um, extra virgin olive oil, and one lemon. So I know I said I was going to use half of a lemon, but I just ended up using the whole thing because I really don't like leaving half of a lemon just sitting there. So I don't know, I just squeezed the entire lemon into this bowl. So I'm just going to mash the bananas with this fork now, and then I'm going to go in with the whip to smoothen it. You could use a blender if you want to use a blender, but I just don't want to make too much mess. So I'm just going to go in with the whip. So I'm done with the conditioner. Um, if I don't know if you can see this, but this is like a thick yogurt-like paste. Basically what I did was um, I used the fork to mash the bananas and then I used the whip to whip it into a thick paste. But that wasn't enough to get rid of all the lumps. So I still had to use a sieve or a, yeah, a mesh like sieve to sieve out the lumps. So guys, that was a lot of work. So save yourself. If you want to do this, please don't do what I did. The best thing would be to use a blender, a regular blender, or if you have the handheld blender, you know, the one where you can just um, immerse it into what you want to blend then just put it on and then blend it. And it just blends everything into a thick piece. That would have been fantastic for this. But I don't have that. So I had to use the whip and the sieve. I have a regular blender. But I guess I was too lazy because I didn't want to wash the blender. I wish I had used the blender though. But it's still okay. I still, had my, I still have my end product here. So I'm going to wash my hair now. And I'm going to apply this deep conditioner on my hair and then i'm going to come back and show you guys what it looks like on my hair okay hey guys so i just wanted to quickly show you guys what my hair looks like after applying the homemade deep conditioner oh my god guys this deep conditioner is the truth seriously it's been a while i went all out to make my own deep conditioner from scratch i wish i did this more often i'm always so lazy so i just like um make get store bought products and probably just add my favorite oils or my favorite ayurvedic powders and i just use it as the condition of my hair but guys i should do this more often because this is the truth honestly i'm not just talking but when i applied this on my hair my hair responded immediately seriously like natural stuff are really the best honestly guys i said just applied on my hair my hair just so oh my god guys okay you know what if you have fussy hair if your hair is half as stubborn as mine or even more Please just try out this recipe and tell me what you think. And you know I'm not just talking. Okay, like, just, just take a look at my hair. Like, seriously. I don't know if you guys can... I know you can't feel the texture from there. But honestly, this is amazing. My hair is amazing. I'm just going to just um apply... Wear my shower cap now. Then I'm going to wear my steaming cap. And I'm going to steam my hair for an hour. Oh my god, I can't wait to see what it looks like then. Then I'm going to rinse off this, this deep conditioner. Guys, this is the truth. My hair is loving this. My hair is soaking it all up. You guys should try this recipe. I think it's a combination of everything. I'm trying to decide what exactly is... In that deep conditioner that's making my hair so soft but i think it's a combination of everything this works and it's amazing that it's just five ingredients things that everybody has in their kitchen guys everybody has this stuff this is like the cheapest and most effective diy deep conditioner you can possibly make for your hair i'm not just ranting guys you should try this out for yourself and let me know what you think hey guys so i finally rinsed up the conditioner for my hair i steamed my hair for about an hour 30 minutes i decided to spend an extra 30 minutes no harm in that right <laughs> well so i just steamed my hair and then i went to rinse up the conditioner and i haven't looked at it yet so i want us to look at it together let me see Ooh. <laughs> I look like I have horns. <laughs> All right. So, oh my God, looks good. Oh my God. Wow. Oh, I think I have some. Oh. Just brush this off. Okay, guys, this is not looking bad at all. Oh my God. My hair is still wet, as you can see, but it feels so soft guys like it feels like seriously like i have no product on this hair i just rinsed off the conditioner that's all i've not applied anything because i just i just took out the towel like you can see 
I have no um, living conditioner. I have nothing. I didn't even use the regular conditioner. Oh my God. Like usually I would, um, once I rinse off the deep conditioner, I will go in again with the regular conditioner, leave that for about five minutes and then do the final rinse. But I didn't even have to do that this time, guys. Seriously. Oh my God. My hair feels so soft. See, like, this is good. This is good. So guys, if you're going to, if you try this recipe, please let me know what you think. Let me know what it does to your hair. I'm loving this. And I think this will probably be my go-to um, deep conditioner from now. First of all, it's very, very effective. Second of all, it's 100% natural. Third of all, it's extremely cheap. That's the best part, right? So guys, thank you so much for watching my video. Um, I look forward to your comments. Please drop your comments. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And don't forget, I'm compiling your comments for the Q&A session coming up in February. So I'm going to, it's going to be based on your questions. So please drop your questions in the comment section. And I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thank you, guys. Bye.